American doctors looked at circumcision in world history and thought, well, this is surgery that we can make some money off of. And if we give it medical benefits, parents may fall for it. So they introduced a new type of circumcision in world history, what I call the secret circumcision. As I was saying earlier, traditionally, children growing up knew that circumcision occupied an important, even crucial role in their culture. They knew they were circumcised. They knew their brothers, their cousins were circumcised, their nephews, their fathers, everyone. All males were circumcised and everyone grew up knowing it. What American doctors thought they could do was transplant that, but make it a secret circumcision in our hospitals. So that what we have now is a very strange phenomenon. American men grow up, many of them do not literally know that anything has been done to their bodies, that there was any amputation of a body part. There was no context or meaning for that amputation. They were taken by strangers into a back room of a hospital and subjected to an inhumane torture, which circumcision absolutely is. There is no way to sugarcoat the brutal truth of circumcision. You are strapping down a human being and chopping off part of their genitals. When we do it to baby girls or girl children, everyone understands what a brutal, malevolent amputation or injury that inflicts upon the child. It is exactly the same as with boys, but we have the secret circumcision and we find resistance in society now because men are growing up without knowing they're circumcised or they've been fed some line somewhere along the line that, well, it was for, it was for uh, health reasons, which everyone who has studied this issue knows that that is essentially a fig leaf. They can never change what circumcision is. It is a brutal, malevolent superstition from the past that was intended to damage human sexuality for boys and girls. It was an equal gender mutilator, boys and girls alike and intersex. It went after all children. Now we just have boys in the United States left alone with no protection. Parents can literally circumcise their infant son because they want to. They don't even need a reason if they can find a willing doctor. And doctors have to get some ethics. That's just, that's just the, the bottom line. A doctor without ethics will do anything that someone will pay them to do, and that's what circumcision is. Coming out of the ferry building, we have the signs, and I saw you guys standing over here, and all this makes a lot of sense. And it's probably about time that this uh, this happened because it's not about religion, it's not about health anymore. It's it's really about, I think, more so cruelty. So it's it's uh, you know they do this in Africa with women and circumcision, and I don't know why they're even doing it here in, in the U.S. anymore or anywhere else in the world. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah.